KTXC presents Cooking Right with our host, Nicole. Hi, I'm Nicole Fernandez, and I'm your host for Cooking Right. Now today, we're going to learn how to make a very special favorite, I'm sure everyone loves it, French fries. Now you can always go to McDonald's or Burger King, but what if you just have, you know, potatoes in the fridge, and you've been meaning to use them, and you can make French fries? It's so, it's so easy to do it yourself. So here we've got just uh, some small russet potatoes, and you can always get the bigger ones, but they're a lot harder to cut. So just for convenience today, I got the smaller ones. Now you just eat, you can just cut it in half like this, and it's pretty clean. So you can keep cutting it, and you can make very small pieces, or you can make like big steak fries. It really depends on the people. Now, thinner French fries, they cook a lot faster. So if you want a quick cooking time, then you can make them really thin. There's that. See, these, something like this would be really hard to, it wouldn't be hard, but it would be a lot longer to cook. And you don't just have to necessarily use russet potatoes. There's a lot of different potatoes you can use. If you like sweet potato fries, you can always use those. Those are actually a lot healthier if, if you're just one of those health nuts. But um, I just like fries because, you know, I like food. And I'm not always the healthiest eater. Now, once we start cutting, once you finish cutting, we can always put the canola oil, and I'll be done with that right in a minute. There we go, almost done. There we are. Now, once we've got all the potatoes cut, I'm gonna start getting my deep fryer prepped. And there we go. Now this is a Presto Grandpappy deep fryer. Works pretty well. You don't even have to fill it up a whole lot. Just putting in maybe not even one fourth of the oil in there. And after that, we can plug it in. It's magnetized, so if it doesn't like click like most plugs do, don't worry about it. Now that'll heat up. And you can actually, if you need to, use, if you don't have a deep fryer, you can actually use just a pot and, and just um, fry it. And, but let me warn you, if you use a pot, you need to be very careful. I say this from personal experience. Very careful if you use a pot because if you put too much oil or too much food in it, it will boil over and your burner will catch on fire and you'll start screaming. So don't do that. So it's starting to get a little bit hot. So we can start putting these in. And you can make a lot more fries if you want. If you have a lot of potatoes, you can just make as many as you want. I like, uh, I like doing this for when I have family gatherings. Instead of getting fries, you'll just you can just get normal potatoes and fry them. So you have two more, we have two more potatoes here. We could cut them up, but just for time's sake, I'm just gonna be cutting up this one. There we go. All right, so we've got our fries, and our fire's almost heated up. So after this break, we're going to put them in and see how long it takes to cook them. We'll be right back.
Life is exhausting. We work, socialize, play, shop, work out. We get so busy we forget to take care of ourselves. That's where lightning energy can help. Lightning energy not only fills you with vitality, but it is jam-packed with vitamins and antioxidants to keep you powered through the day. Nutritionalists and dietitians have given lightning energy an A plus for its natural factors. Next time you're feeling tired, grab lightning energy. You'll feel like you were energized by lightning. Hello, welcome back. And I'm Nicole and I'm here making french fries. Now, we cut up our potatoes and they're all washed and ready. Some people like to peel them, but I like having the skin on it just because, you know, the skin's healthy and everything. I try what I can. And now we're going to put them in the oil. It's almost ready to start cooking. And you'll see that I have chopsticks and they're very long. I actually like using long chopsticks because they're easy. To, it's much easier to grab things than with tongs. And in fact, with the tongs, they, uh, they squish the french fries if they're too soft. So I don't like, you know, just all messed up french fries. So we're going to start putting the french fries in. Looks like the oil is, there we go. You can hear it's starting to heat up. You want to be really careful because it is very hot. I used to dump them in just a lot of times, but that's how um, an accident happened where I nearly burned my house down. Here we go. Yeah, the oil's really starting to heat up now. It's starting to bubble a lot, and you know that that's when it's cooking. The smaller ones will cook really fast, so you want to keep an eye on those. Yeah, it's, it's not something you just really walk away from. You really got to keep an eye on it, or you could potentially burn things down. There we go. And if the oil isn't enough, you can always add just a little bit more, but again, you have to be careful when you're putting in oil. Yeah. And make sure to never let any water touch it, because if, and if you've been cooking a while, you'll know that oil and water do not mix. Now, some of the thinner ones, if there's any at, at the bottom, you'll uh, want to keep an eye on them. They'll cook really fast. You can keep stirring them around. That's, that's the one reason I, I like these chopsticks is because they're very long. Um, this, the splatters really don't get your hand. Yeah, there's a small one in here. It's, it's already starting to soften up. You can tell how it's flopping around. There we go. Yeah. A bunch of them are getting really soft now. And since we're running out of time, I just want to show you these pre-made ones that I made. And that's how you make french fries. It's really easy. Thank you for watching.